Let's do another example. If commuting times are normally distributed with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 16 minutes, what's the probability that a commute will be between 15 and 40 minutes? So here we're going to, the first step is to draw our distribution. So here's a normal distribution centered around the mean of 30 minutes. We are looking for the probability between 15 minutes and 40 minutes. So 15 keep, is to the left of the mean and 40 is to the right of the mean. Let's compute our z-scores. First, we find the first z-score, where x equals 15, is going to be equal to 15 minus 30 over 16, the standard deviation, which equals 0 0.94, minus 0 0.94. The second z-score is going to be 40 minus the mean, so 40 minus 30 all over the standard deviation, which is going to equal 0 0.63. But look, here we have a negative z-score. Our table doesn't have negative z-score, so we need to use a trick in order to calculate the correct area. What we are going to do is exploit the symmetry property of the normal curve to find the right areas to look up. Essentially, we are looking for this total area, but we're going to com combine it, split it up into two partial areas. One being the area, I'm going to choose a different color. One being area, the area between 0 and, and the z-score of 0.63, and the other being in the area between the z-score of 0 and, point nine, and negative 0.94. But what you need to realize that the, is that the area between minus 0.94 and 0, so the area in here, is equal to the area between 0 and plus 0.94, since the curve is symmetric. So in order to calculate this entire area, first we're going to split it up into the two parts, and then we're going to calculate the, uh, the inverse of the negative side. So we're going to find the area between 0 and 0.63, and the area between 0 and 0.94, and add those two up to get the area of the total region of interest. Let's do that. First of all, we'll find the z-score for 0.63. We just go down the z, the column here, to 0.6, and then across to 0 0.63. That gives us an area of 23.57. For the other z-score, instead of going to minus 0.94, we just go to positive 0 0.94. 0 0.9, and across to 4, and that gives us a probability of 3, 2, 6, 4. Now we just need to add those two things together to get our answer. So we find that the probability is equal to 0.3264 plus 0.2357, and that's equal to 5621. So in words, remember, this was 15 minutes, and this was 40 minutes, and the area is 5621, so in words, the solution is that the probability that a commute is between 15 and 40 minutes is 56.21%.